What happens then to all of those human subjective error tens? But in reality, it might result in less tens, which means the current tens that are out there will balloon and rocket to oblivion. That is a real possibility. On the flip side, you have the other possibility where people say, I don't want any tens that weren't didn't go through AI. And I only want new cert numbers because those new cert numbers were the ones that went through AI after X cert number. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here discussing the PSA acquisition of Genement, which is essentially artificial intelligence or computerized programming that can almost detect just from a scan or some sort of artificial intelligence what a card should grade based on the overall eye appeal, the edges, corners, surface, and of course the centering. This was huge news just a couple weeks ago, and again, the company called Genement, G-E-N-A-M-I-N-T, -I, I believe. There is a demo video on YouTube. It was kind of an independent uh, source that kind of made this software in which you could place a card. For example, I don't know exactly how this works, so don't, uh, you know, quote me on this. You place a card on what seems to be a computer or scanner, it scans the card and boom, within a few seconds, it can generate exactly with algorithms and, and whatnot. The centering, corners, surface, edges, and the overall eye appeal, which should be the grade. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean for the future? What does it mean for PSA 10, subjective 10s, human graded 10s? When's PSA going to implement this technology that they sourced and put a lot of money into? Uh, Nat Turner obviously actually had some sort of connection from what I read into the Genement technology or AI technology or software. I don't know, again, the fine details between the lines, but I do know this, um, that PSA supposedly is already starting to implement slowly but surely into implement this AI technology, artificial intelligence um, and what does this mean? We all need to know that this is a huge mover for the industry. This move in which they purchased this company or this, this program or software for a lot of money, this move has, the, first of all, the potential to destroy, absolutely squish the cockroaches that are the third-party grading services that are not BGS, that are not SGC, that are not uh, CGC, even though that's really just hanging on by a thread, although everyone's kind of been booming because PSA shut down. Uh, this technology, if only PSA can use it, my goodness, the, the, it, the potential is limitless to what PSA can do with this. They can basically ha rule out human error. They could just put it on a software, put it on a computer, and they get the grade, boom, right away, and you've got your grade. This, unfortunately for people, probably leads to less jobs. Um, but as we know as a whole in the world and society, artificial intelligence, robotics, and, and all of this technology and IT and all this good stuff is taking place of a lot of folks as human jobs. You go to the grocery store. Uh, you know, you don't have humans checking you out anymore. You go to Targets, Walmarts, anywhere else, and you check out your cards in which you used to be able to get at those places. And, no, you could self-check out. And it's a win-win for everybody. The corporation or the shopping or the store says we don't have to hire any more clerks and uh, we're saving money by investing this uh, into this technology in which over the long term saves a lot of money and labor costs. Now, for PSA, it's a win for them big time because they can now afford potentially in the future to cut graders uh, out of the whole picture. I don't see that ever being a thing. It's like Tesla with a self-driving car. Typically, you buy a Tesla, but you still need that. You have the ability for a human to override the machine or the technology that is the autonomous car, right? 
So I do think that PSA, for example, will make sure that they use this AI with the addition of human graders and subjectivity, but I think the AI will have a big impact of what the final grade of a card will be. Now, here's where the concerns lie, right? The concerns lie when you have every other PSA, let's take a 10, for example. You have PSA 10, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Pretty off-center, but it got a 10. Or it has a surface dimple, but it got a 10. Or there's some whitening on that corner or edge, but it still got a 10. So a weak 10, quote-unquote weak 10. Now with AI, if this can scan this card and say within a few seconds, well, this is not going to be a 10 and it doesn't get a 10. Now, for all of the future submissions, if this technology is currently in the process of being, quote, tested or implemented, uh, which, again, we don't know if it's only for Super Express, for walkthrough, for Express, for bulk services... From what I hear, and again, this is just all murmurs and rumors, it might be for the higher-end services right now, so that, uh, you know, you don't have that major human error when it comes to these very expensive cards. If you're going to have human error, you'd rather have it with the bulk or value service, which is the lower-end cards. When it comes to real high-dollar cards, where you're talking tens and tens of thousands of dollars between one numerical grade... You want to have as many looks on the card as you can, in which case the AI could be a perfect starting point for it. But nonetheless, uh, you have a 10 that's a weak 10. Now you have AI that's going to say it's not a 10 because a human kind of that day felt really good. Maybe a human had a wonderful evening the night before. Maybe the human had just an overall great breakfast. Or the vice versa, had uh, didn't get their fuel in in the morning and they're just droopy and tired and they say, oh, I don't see anything. This is a 10 when in reality there's a huge dent on the card. So now you have a conflict because now you have the subjectivity is gone if it does eventually move to all AI systems with no human subjectivity, the subjectivity is gone, which means there's concrete. It's a 10 if, if it gets, for example, I guess would, would be over a 9.5 on the overall I appeal in the decimal points. And again, go to YouTube, check out Genement, Genement Grading Service, uh, Genement Grading or Preview. I think it's still on YouTube at this point, but it is very fascinating technology. And so... What happens then to all of those human subjective error tens? What happens to cards that shouldn't be tens that are in 10 cases that humans just screwed up on? What happens to nines that are in reality eight worthy cards, but there are nine cases? What happens to all these cards? What happens in a, in a good point to where there's a card in a seven case, but it's reality a nine? But more importantly, what happens to those real high dollar tens? For the people that shell out half a million dollars for Michael Jordan, PSA 10 rookie, right? Uh, what happens if they throw it into the AI and the AI says, oh, this is an eight worthy card? Well then, uh-oh, something's going to have to give, right? Is PSA going to have to pay out that user and say, okay, now we're going to convert it to an eight. And then we're going to have to pay out the difference between the 10 value and the eight value. So, for those who don't know, PSA, actually, if you submit a card to them, let's say it gets a 10, and there's serious problem with the card, but it gets a 10, and then someone were to sell it, the buyer says, whoa, I got this 10 from this other seller, and it just looked god-awful. PSA, I don't like this. This is You're supposed to have the integrity here. You, They technically can go back to PSA, say, here's the damage on the card. This is ridiculous. It's not a 10 card. PSA supposedly can... Don't know if they will, but they can, and I've heard of it happening a few times. It is very rare, but they can actually pay out that user who has the card, convert that card back to its whatever grade it was supposed to be, let's say a 7 or 8 from a 10, convert it to a 7 or 8, and then they refund the owner of the card the difference. So that's a big difference when in monetary value. If they refund and say, okay, we're going to pay out what the 10 was worth, and then we're going to convert it into the 7 or 8. That is massive losses for PSA. So what's going to happen here is, well, what could happen is, what happens to the folks that says, oh, I bought a, P a PSA 10 LOB Blue Eyes, and it's so off-center, or there's a huge dent or a crease in the card, and it's a 10. 
Uh, is PSA then, after you review it with AI and the AI confirms this, is PSA going to have to then reimburse every person's human subjectivity 10? Is PSA going to have to say, okay, we're converting every single human 10 with the old labels or the old cert numbers uh, below these certs and then pay out the rest? Or is PSA going to grandfather, quote-unquote grandfather, the PSA 10, which means what happened in the past is in the past. If it got through, if it got a lucky 10, it gets a lucky 10. Well, the rest now we're using artificial intelligence and technology. That is the golden question here, and I think that's going to affect a lot of value. Additionally, are people now going to only want AI 10s? Are people no longer going to want the human-graded, subjective-graded PSA 10s? Are they going to say, I don't want that until it's reviewed by an AI? Is PSA one day going to have certs with AI stamp on it, which basically means artificial intelligence checked and it is a legitimate 10, and the other ones don't have the stamp on it, which means it wasn't ever reviewed from when it was originally graded from a human? I don't know. I can't see PSA ever doing that because it's just too complex, too many things that they'd have to do, too many payouts they'd have to make, I feel like, because let's be honest, a lot of 10s out there aren't 10s. A lot of 9s out there aren't 9s. And this could go either way. There are 9s that are 10 worthy. There are 10s that are 9 worthy. They can go all the way from 10 to 8. They can go from 8 to 10. No one really knows. But overall, as a whole, yes. Third party PSA grading did their job as a whole. Most of the grades are somewhat to relatively accurate of what they should be. There are a few outliers. And what's going to happen again? Are people going to be that particular to say, instead of saying, I just want a PSA 10, instead saying, I want a PSA 10 that was graded by robots. I want a PSA 10 that was certified by AI or artificial intelligence. Is it going to get to that point? I don't think so because... We've already seen that people will buy weak 10s, knowingly weak 10s with some edge wear on them, and they have a PSA 10 label, and they will spend pretty much, if not a tad lower, of what a normal PSA 10 is worth. So yes, I think it's just the factor of having that 10 that satisfies folks. Um, I don't think most folks are going to say very particularly, I want this certified by the artificial intelligence robot, by technology, uh, rather than trusting the grader's subjectivity in human form. I don't see that happening. I think, from what I hear and what I think will happen, is PSA will grandfather all those 10s, which means N9s and all the other 8s. And every, every card that was graded before AI, that's what they have, that's what they get, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anything that's graded after AI, that's, in my opinion, also you think of the long-term effects of this, it's going to make 10s, in my opinion, much harder to get. So in some ways, you could say, okay, the 10s currently out there by human graders have the potential to absolutely skyrocket because this AI might be a lot harder than a human might. And this AI might say most of these cards aren't 10s. It depends on how and the algorithms and how strict the AI or robot really is. If that's the case, grandfathered PSA 10s and PSA 10s in general, or even 9s, have the ability to absolutely go to the moon because it's just going to be impossible for, quote, one to slip through where there's, okay, one's on the fence, but maybe the grader has a good day that day and they give it a 10. So in reality, that could, you know... Put more objectivity instead of subjectivity here but in reality it might result in less tens which means the current tens that are out there will balloon and rocket to oblivion that is a real possibility on the flip side you have the other possibility where people say i don't want any tens that weren't didn't go through ai and i only want new cert numbers because those new cert numbers were the ones that went through ai after x cert number so there is that possibility. I think the first possibility of them skyrocketing, of the 10 skyrocketing, is more likely than the OCD-ness, I guess you could say, of people saying, I want it through AI. I think, again, we've seen it. There are weak 10s out there, but that doesn't really stop people from buying them anyway. So at the end of the day, most people just actually care about the label and not the card itself. Yes, it's important to obviously care about both, but if someone has a chance to get a 10, if it had some edge wear at a steep discount, I think anyone would be a fool not to do that. 
So I still think, yes, people still pay premium for that label as well. And when the label becomes rare, or if and when the label becomes rare with this implementation of AI, it has serious potential to skyrocket the stuff even more. But again, there is some danger there as well to, to keep in mind and think. Does PSA require everything to go through the AI system that was, or, you know, graded beforehand? Are investors paying six figures for cards? Are they going to be focused more on the AI aspect of it rather than the old search, subjective, human, got lucky element to it? I don't know. We don't know. It's a lot to think about and a lot to digest here. Um, so this, I think, was a pretty comprehensive video going on 15 minutes, but there was so much to cover. And uh, just let me know what you think in the comments. Did you see the Genement preview video on YouTube, if it's still there? Hopefully. What do you think the results of this will be? Obviously, efficiency will go up for PSA. They'll have the ability to grade cards quicker, uh, more, more accurately. Uh, with another look on the card in the form of a robot. So that's very important as well. Uh, don't know, again, if they're in bulk, if they're in express, if they're testing it in walkthrough services, in person. Well, no one really knows. No one really knows. But also, it gives PSA a huge advantage over every other grading company, even against BGS, because if people are still having subjectivity with other, other companies and they know that you could go to PSA where they're getting an unbiased eye in the form of a computer robot looking at it, man... PSA does seem a lot more enticing, and that has potential to totally cripple every other grading service out there, which is a shame in some ways because we don't want a monopoly. But in other ways, that was a huge, just looking at it as a third party, huge addition to PSA. What do you guys think? Till next time, Yu Gi Oh! Tube signing out.